Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and I'm so excited to show you today's project. It is using another one of Nomara Quintella's files. So you know I'm in love with her 3D letters, and I'll talk about that in just a second. The one that we're gonna be doing today is this cute little guy right here. It's the milk box. So you can see, it looks like the milk boxes that you know we grew up on. You would flip this open and drink from that, <laughs> like that. But here, it's so simple. I mean, look at how big it is. So it is, it ends up being um, about almost four, four inches. Um, well, it's about three and a half inches. Three and a half inches to actually fill in things. So I don't know if you can see, I filled in like a bunch of chocolates in there. So you can see the bottom holds up really well. It's not gonna fall through. It can totally hold this. This is about 80 pound cardstock paper. I probably would go up to 100 pound cardstock paper just to make sure that you have a really solid, but 80, 80 pounds is totally good. If I, once I secure this, this will totally sit up there and be so cute. You can decorate the front. Um, you can add cute little ribbon, um, little pop outs for the age, you know, the number or something, you know, thank you, whatever it is, the theme. Um, the one that you want is this right here. It's the, oops, sorry, my face is in the way. Let me move that out of the way. It's this right here. It's the milk box pack. The reason why I like her files, um, well, prior to this, I had only done these up here, the 3D square letters. Um, but I absolutely love her files because the letters, everything so far, so the two projects that I've done, I've done a ton of letters and numbers though, so don't, it, I don't want to make it sound like I've only done two projects. I've only used two files of hers, but within the, the letters, the numbers, I mean, I've used many files within that set of files, right? Because I've done a ton of numbers, a ton of letters. Um, they are so well constructed, easy to fold, easy to put together. They look great. Um, some of the other ones that I have tried are a lot thinner. So what happens is they'll get knocked over. So it's so thin. Um, you know, like if you look at the letter P for instance, right? The P will be unbalanced. In this case, I haven't done the P on this one, but I've done the number four and it was a lot, it was, easy to balance out, but if it was any thinner, I think it'd be really difficult. And I've tried other ones and I didn't like it. So anyway, the milk crate, the milk box. I absolutely love it. Let's go to design space. Um, I also have a bunch of other files, so I can't wait to start doing some of these boxes, but I was so pleasantly surprised with this milk box. It's one sheet, one sheet of paper is one box and it was so easy to fold up. You're literally gluing like one line. Everything else is folded up. So let's get to it. Once you download it and you upload it into Design Space, this is what it's gonna look like. Oops, I thought I had it open. Give me one second. Um, this one is also 80 pound paper. So the paper that I used the first two, it was really just to test out the file. I wanted to confirm that it was easy to do and that it worked. And so I used 80 pound paper. The 80 pound paper is from Michaels. It's in that thick, you know, they have it on sale all the time. It's usually $19. It's a whole pad, 12 by 12 cardstock, um, bunch of colors. Um, so you can use that. What I noticed that I didn't like about my pink one. Oh my gosh, wait, hold on. Where did my, there we go. Okay. Um, what I noticed about this pink one, which you may not, I don't think you can tell on screen, but it is um, a white core. So what that means is I have this beautiful hot pink paper, but it's a color on top of this. So where I have the folds, you can see a little bit of the white lines. It's not a big deal, but I probably would pick something that is solid core um, to do this. But like this paper, um, this paper is also white core, but because it's this minty green, I don't notice the white as much when I go to fold it. It actually kind of blends in. So I think because I went with the hot pink and look at how I'm holding it. There's chocolate in here and it's not coming through. It's, it's a good, I mean, this fold is so good. 
it's just a fold. You could technically, I guess, put a little bit of glue to make sure it doesn't go anywhere, but you don't need it. Look at <laughs> as it all falls out now. <laughs> Okay, um, let's go to this file. Oh my gosh, I didn't even save it. So let's go to new project. And what I did with this first one was I just made it really big. I took up as much space as I could on the 12 by 12 um, sheet of cardstock because I wanted to make as big of a milk box as I could. So I'm gonna go to upload. And here it is. Add it to the canvas. So this file comes, and let me move myself back over here, and I'll make myself smaller. I made it big so that you could see what the milk box looked like. Okay, so as it's coming in, what is cool is here is the cut file, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. It's all black, so you can't see the score lines. But what is cool about this is that it also comes with this so that you can do your designs, know how big to do the designs. If you wanted to do a print and cut, you know exactly like which one to use. So skins with bleeds, that would, um, the colors would bleed. So then when it cuts, it will fit perfectly on here. So today I'm just showing you how to size it and um, what to do with the file. Okay, so today is just basic. Um, Another day will be to really decorate it and make it fun. I plan on doing shakers with this so that this window right here can have confetti, um, you know, fun little things that can move around and just make it look really pretty. All right, so what you wanna do is you wanna ungroup this. Today, because we're only dealing with the actual box, I'm actually gonna get rid of the skins without bleeds and with bleeds, okay? So all you do is you click on it and I'm gonna delete it. So I'm just gonna actually grab all of this and delete and delete. I'm gonna change, so you can see there's two items right here, but it's hard to see because this is all black. I'm gonna change this color just so that you can see what it looks like. So she has these score lines on here. I personally, so you have an option, and this is the same with her letters. You can score or you can cut. I prefer cut, so it does take a little bit longer, but it's so much easier to fold. So basically my blade cuts little marks right there. And so when I go to fold this, look how easy it is. Everything folds and you don't need, you know, it, it folds exactly where it should. Um, and that's all there is to it. So what you wanna do though, is you wanna grab these two items. Let me show you what it looks like right now. So right now you have your, your cut lines and your general template, right? When you go to make it, because it's not attached, it looks like it's gonna cut the, the score lines on another page. So here is our general template, right? But it doesn't have any of the cut lines. You won't know where to fold it. And then here is the cut lines. It's all right here. So we wanna make sure that the cut lines are actually on here where it's supposed to be. So that's an easy fix. And this is also works for her letters and her numbers, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna grab the two items and you wanna attach it. So when you attach it, these score lines are gonna score exactly where they are right now so that it's easy to fold. All right, so it comes in at this size, 9.7 by 6.8. Make sure that you keep this locked because as you make it smaller, you want both your width and your height to change accordingly. Um, so this is where it's up to you how big you wanna make this. So again, the one that I did, it comes out to be about 3.75 inches is the height. It's a good size. So you can see next to my face, it fit a lot, it fit almost this whole bag of candy in there. And it's coffee candy, <laughs> I just wanted to show you. So it fit the whole thing. Um, I think the whole bag would fit in here and then you would close it up like this. So what you would wanna do is, I wanted to maximize that. So I can see here that my width is the one that is the longer length um, than my height. So I'm gonna go to my width and I'm gonna change that to 11.5 because I know it can cut up to 11.5. It actually could cut bigger, um, even using 12 by 12 cardstock. So if you really wanted to go maximum, and here we can 
we can put this up to here so you can see how high it is. So this is about a little bit over uh, one. Oh, wait a minute. This height is, oh, it's two, oh, sorry. The, I was thinking this is going to from four to five. This is going to four to six. So one inch, two inch, three inch, um, almost three and a quarter, right? Three, uh, three point three and three quarters, 3.75. So you could make this technically just a little bit bigger. You could make this 12 inches. And what you would do, I'm going to show you right now, okay? So as long as this height is less than 11.5, it's going to let you cut. So at this height, at um, actually 12 inches in the width, then your milk box is almost, almost three, uh, oh, wait a minute, almost four inches tall. That's going to hold a lot of candy. Um, and if you want to see how wide it is, it is... So the box is going to be almost four inches and almost um, almost three and a half inches. So that gives you a lot of room to put things in. OK. All right. Let me show. That's all that there is to this. OK. When you go to make it. This is what it's going to look like. It's going to want you to put it on a 12 by 24 map, but you don't have to. OK. So just click OK. And you see how like on the um, on your mat, it never cuts to the edge up here, right? And it's gonna go all the way down to 12.25. So the way I would do this is I would use my 12 by 12 mat. Well, I would use a 12 by 24 mat because I have those mats. But if you only have the 12 by 12 mat, I would just have the paper going past the 12 inch line. So I don't have any mats right now available, but I would just put the paper below the 12 inch line and it's going to cut because it's going to think that you fed it a 12 by 24 mat. So you can do that and you can cut. That's how you can cut up to 12 inches. Um, let's go back out of this. Let's see how small we can make this to see. You could technically, if you wanted to go cheaper and smaller because um let me see let's go back to make it for a second you will have scrap right you will have this edge right here that we can't use so i'm wondering if you ended up for this project use eight and a half by 11 paper then you can make this I would make it 11.75, oh wait, 11, no, 10.75. Because you have up until 11 inches, but just to give yourself like a little bit of uh, room for error, um, I would do it 10.75, 7.5. So I would, yeah, so you're not wasting a lot of paper here. You're, you're going almost the full length, and this way you're only wasting a little bit under an inch. So if you wanted to, you could do it this way. You can make it this size. Um, if you wanted to use your 12 by 12, let's see how big of, okay, let me make this bigger. If we made this really small like this, how big would the area be to put your candy, right? So your candy would be 1.75, Oh, this is tiny. This box is so small. It it would only give you 1.75 by, it looks like, 1.75 by 1.25. Oh, the area would be really, it would be like this much of candy. You might be able to put like three pieces of candy in there. So that's too small. So really, you can't really maximize this. You can't make this. Let's go to make it. Sorry, I'm kind of thinking out loud. I want to show you how I go about um, figuring out. Well, this could be, you know what? I'm trying to think in my head. That was not a good calculation. Hold on. Technically on this one. Give me a second. I'm thinking. <laughs> It's dangerous right now, I'm thinking. All right, so if we made the height five and a half inches, 
then this is much better. This is about two and a half inches and so almost two inches there. So I'm going to show you how much space you have, okay? So you would have about this much to fill in candy. That's pretty good if you were putting in a little sample size, you know, like a little bag of candy that you would buy at a candy store um, where you can put in things. That's a good size. Let's go to make it and see if we can fit two of these on one mat. That's the key. And it looks like we can. Oh yeah. And actually there's still room. We can make this a little bit bigger. So let's go back. I have a little bit more space. So I'm gonna make it. Let's see if we can do this at six inches. Okay, it doesn't change too much, but it gives us um, almost three inches and three by two. That's a pretty good size of candy and it's cute. And if you were trying to maximize, this is what I would do. So let's see if we can fit two of them. We may need to move things around. Um, let's change this mat to 12 by 24 just to get them all on one page. So let's flip this little baby around and see if we can squeeze it up anywhere. Oh, it's so close. Um, I wish we could just squeeze. I wish it was just enough to squeeze that in there and go up a little bit like this, but um, hold on. Let me see if I move that there. Is there any space for this? No. Um, Let me move this around again. Was there any space here? No. Technically, I think you could squeeze this and just put your paper past the 12 inch line, but you're cutting it really close. So we can make this just a little bit smaller. So I would either change my width to maximize your 12 by 12 cardstock, I would either change the width to 12 inches or 11.75. And then to make this fit uh, two to one page, I would make this 5.75. And I think that will get me to fit it. So let's go over here. Change this to two and apply. It's probably gonna put it on two mats, yep. I would just change this to 12 by 19 just so that it all fits so I can maneuver it here. And oh, actually, let's see. Oh, yeah, this will fit because look, you can put your paper all the way to the 12 inch line. It will cut and it'll be great. And you'll have two boxes and you'll have two boxes where you can fit. I'll do it so you can see it next time. But your box is going to be a little bit over two and a half, almost two and three quarters inches and two inches across. That's a that's a decent amount to put, fill candy just for party favors. All right. I hope that was helpful. Let me know what you think. Do this and I promise you it's the easiest fold. I will see you next time. All right. Bye guys.